A fairy princess was humming a little song while weaving her basket in her garden. As she reached for her cord, a large bug suddenly landed on her little gloved hand. Terrified, she tried to pull away, but the insect insisted she listen to him. Today we'll be weaving a miniature basket for fairies or dolls. This is certainly Caroline with more polymer clay fairy tale nonsense. Create your own fairy tale world with my miniature art tutorials. As always, a link to the supplies I used for this tutorial will be in the description below. I start by painting three baking wires the color of my cord. You'll need to look in the cake decorating section of a hobby store to find these wires. I clip the wires so I have eight pieces of about the same length. Make a cross with the wires, four going up and four going across. Loop the cord, leaving plenty trailing behind you, and slide it over the first section. Twist only once and lead the cord over the second section. Twist once again and lead it over the third section. And do the same for the fourth section. Now repeat this process so that you've gone all the way around three times. So it looks a little like this. Now we're going to twine each individual spoke. Roughly fan out the spokes of the section you started with. Twist the cord once and pull it down on the first spoke. Twist once again and pull it down on the second spoke. And do the same for the next two spokes. Now move to your next section and do the same thing. Do the same twist and pull down for each spoke. And now twine the last section. Once you've gone around the first time, Go around again. Do this process for three cycles until your basket looks like this. At this point, we can cut off one of the cords and one of the spokes. To weave your cord, you'll need an odd number of spokes or it won't weave correctly. So be ruthless and cut off a spoke. Use the remaining cord to weave through the spokes, moving the cord under and over each spoke. So each cycle should be opposite the next one. I went around like this twice, and then I put a dot of glue on the cutoff cord. Congratulations, you just got through the hardest part of miniature basket weaving. Anyone who gets this far deserves coffee with whipping cream, not skim milk, and we get to watch the fairy show again. As he gently stroked her delicate hand, he explained that he once ruled a kingdom until a spiteful fairy cast a spell on him. But just one kiss will return him to his human form and restore his kingdom. Her first love was blueberries. Her second, basket weaving. How could she possibly find room in her heart for a cicada prince? I chose to bend the spokes after I weaved four cycles you may want to do this more or less depending on how large a basket you want. Now weave the bent spokes. If you end up loving this part of the process as much as I do, you may end up getting addicted to miniature basket weaving. I love it because you can have your hands busy and your mind free so you can talk to your kids, your husband, while making something beautiful and adorable. I also really hope you'll try it because it's actually a lot easier than it looks. If you haven't done this before, it looks complicated, but once you try it and you kind of get the hang of it, it's super easy and it's quick and weaving is just mesmerizing. So yes, I hope you try this and I hope you love it. Well, hello there. Thank you for contributing to my little fairy tale, good sir. I chose to weave a blue ribbon into the design. Obviously, this is optional.
Do some final adjusting by making the spokes as circular as possible and pushing down your woven cord. To finish this basket, I used needle nose pliers and looped each spoke over its neighbor. There are many ways to finish a basket. I especially like this look because I think the curvy edges look a little like lace. For the handles, I just painted a thinner floral wire and used a toothpick to easily thread it through the top of the basket. I coiled it, poked it through again with a toothpick, and wrapped it around itself to secure the handle to the basket. A little glued on bow is always a nice touch. Enjoy your little basket. But her compassion overwhelmed her, and she knelt down and kissed the little bug. A gust of wind and a flash of light, and when the dust settled, the little fairy princess was now standing next to very royal shoes. A fine husband, these shoes will make, she scoffed. Their difference is poignantly obvious. The handsome shoes walked off and the fairy continued to merrily weave her basket. If you liked this video, you could really help me out by hitting the like button, and be sure to subscribe to my strange little world of polymer clay fairy tales.